In a previous video, we talked about the components of a hemocytometer and what it's used for. In this video, we're going to count the number of white blood cells in a sample of human blood using the hemocytometer. You may use blood from any animal to count the WBC population. Total leukocyte count, or TLC, is a more commonly used term for WBC count. For this experiment, you will need the following. Counting chamber, WBC pipette, blood sample, either from a pricked finger or from a sample drawn from the vein and stored in a tube containing an anticoagulant. WBC diluting solution, compound light microscope, cotton and rubbing alcohol. Take the WBC pipette pre-cleaned with alcohol. Draw the blood sample till the 0.5 mark using your mouth or a syringe while taking care to avoid any air bubbles from entering the pipette. This step requires a bit of patience and practice. If you happen to suck the blood beyond 0.5 mark, you can either use a clean filter paper to carefully blot out excess blood from the pipette tip or carefully blow out excess blood using a syringe until it reaches down to the 0.5 mark. Once that's done, carefully clean the excess blood sticking to the outer sides of the tip of the pipette using a cotton soaked in alcohol. Now carefully draw the WBC diluting solution up to the 11 mark on the pipette. Hold the pipette in a horizontal position and rotate the pipette several times in such a way that the tiny bead inside the bulb of the pipette mixes the blood and the diluting solutions thoroughly. Once thorough mixing has been accomplished, the blood sample now has a 20 times dilution. Once this is done, prepare the counting chamber for sample loading. Take the counting chamber and the cover slip, both pre-cleaned with alcohol. Carefully position the cover glass on top of the support platforms located on both sides of the counting chamber platforms. Discard the first few drops from the WBC pipette. Carefully position the tip of the pipette on one edge of the cover glass. Allow the contents of the pipette to gradually flow into the narrow space between the cover glass and the counting chamber via a capillary force like you see here. You may load the other counting chamber as well in a similar fashion. Once you're done loading the chambers, keep aside the counting chamber for a few minutes to allow the WBCs to settle. The slide is now ready for microscopic observation. First, locate the large squares at the four corners of the counting grid under low power of the microscope. You may refer to my previous videos on hemocytometer to see which of the squares in the counting chamber are to be used for WBC counting. You may also need to adjust the light intensity of the microscope in order to visualize the fine lines in the counting grid. 
Once you've located the WBC counting squares, switch to 10x then to 40x objective to begin the counting. Applying the margin rule or L rule of cell counting, count the WBCs lying inside of these squares and those lying on the borders of the lower and left side of each square. Do not count those cells lying on the borders of the upper and right sides of the squares. This is how WBCs will appear on the counting grid under 40X. The nuclei are stained deep blue against a violet background. Once you've counted the number of cells in the four squares, aka the 64 smaller squares, all you have to do is just add them up and multiply the sum by 50. This gives you the total WBC count per cubic millimeter of blood sample. Or if you want to do the math, you can use this formula to come up with the number of WBCs in one cubic millimeter of the blood sample. WBC count equals number of cells counted into dilution factor into depth factor divided by area counted. We know that dilution is 1 is to 20, so dilution factor becomes 20. Depth or height of the blood film is one tenth of a millimeter, therefore depth factor is 10. Area counted is 1 square millimeter times 4 squares, which equals 4 square millimeters. Assuming that the number of cells counted is n, and using the above known data, the total WBC count per cubic millimeter of blood equals n into 20 into 10 divided by 4 which equals n into 50. Normal total WBC count in adults ranges from 4,000 to 11,000 cells per cubic millimeter. A low total WBC count, also known as leukopenia, could be caused by liver or spleen disease, radio and chemotherapy, severe bacterial infection, certain autoimmune diseases, deficiency or failure of the bone marrow, certain viral illnesses, tuberculosis, etc. A high total WBC count, also called leukocytosis, may be caused by smoking, stress, certain bacterial infections, leukemia, tissue damage, certain drugs and medications, certain inflammatory diseases, spleen removal surgery, etc.